Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steve's, and today, chums, it's another cup of tea with moi, with me. Thank you. A cup of tea. Lovely jubbly. And I'm back in No Man's Sky, and I'm back on my treasure hunt. Yes, I am. So, yeah, I'm looking for a cursed treasure at relic sites, people. So I'll show you which one I'm on about. One second, let's jump on over into game and let's go into the actual catalogue. Now down into the wonders here, it says that I've got 33 of 78 now. I'm hoping to get this one today. This one here. It looks just like this one, but it's going to be there. And then the only one I've got left is that one there, which I don't think anybody's managed to get yet. So if you have managed to get this one, please hit me up in the DM or something over on the Twitterverse, because yeah, that one is eluding quite a lot of people, and it would probably help quite a lot of people to know how you get the dang thing. Heck yes. Anyhow, let's um, let's let's get on to this and let's see if we can get this one. So the way that I think that we get this one is by doing all the relic sites. So I've gone to a planet that has water. Sadly, it's an extreme planet, but, you know, you can't... well, it is what it is. Here you go. I'm going to put in the Nautilin. Pow! Go jump into the Nautilin. And I'm just going to use the scanner of the Nautilin to look for a relic site. So here we go. Scandally scan. And um, I want an underground relic, please. Boom! Well, submerged relic. And has it found one? It has. It's detecticated one. How far away is it? Can I go in the old Nautilus, is what I'm thinking. 45 minutes away. No, I am not going to be taxiing my Nautilus 45 minutes underneath the ocean. No, nope, that's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first one, uh, show you how I get there and all that sort of stuff. So I scan, I fly my ship there, and then we're going to dive into the water again and go and visit the relic site. So I'm going to do the first one, but then I think I'm going to use the power of editing to bring you the results of each and every one after that. Because it is totally random. Basically, you have to read all the lore. Well, you don't have to read it, but you have to make it come up and uh, skip through it at the very least. But I, I'm probably going to read it, to be fair. Might read it out to you in my lovely swanky voice. And uh, yeah, and hopefully, hopefully then we're going to get it so it pops. Okay, right, cool. There's a little bit of a landmass just over here. We'll just try and land on that. Oh, it's just a sliver. Just a sliver of land. Okay, and land. Ho, 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 ho. Did it. Okay, cool. Jump on out of my ship, and we're heading over to that relic site, which is... Where are you, relic? There it is over there. Can I run, skip, and jump? And hopefully get right above it before I plop into the water, because swimming you go extremely slowly. Pow! Now people have told me that now that the Nautilus can be fully upgraded, it can go quite fast. So maybe that's a future episode, I don't know. Upgrading the Nautilus for undersea travel. But then there's not much undersea to be had, is there really? Okay, well destination is reached. And all I want to do is grab this thing here. So here we go, pow! A voice, soft but insistent, growing ever louder as I linger before the ancient altar. It flows closer, the water rushing about me, demanding that I listen to its tale. Go on then, tell me your tale. I think that first bit's the same wherever you go, this is the actual lore bit. The shores, walks, have become a habit now, a daily ritual. I've walked for miles, treading the sand. Crunching shells beneath my feet, searching for another pebble like that first. What first pebble are you on about, my mate? I've gotten faster, more efficient. I do not need the sun anymore. My torch does just as well, sweeping the rocks, searching for that flicker of light. Some hopes of reflected perfection. Boom! The only thing that stops me now is the tide, and I almost didn't notice that last night the salty waters around my ankles brought me round. Again, I pull back and the roar of the ocean subside. As the light of the ruin fades, I find an ancient key, perfect despite its age. It's a trident key, it's a trident key. I got myself a trident key. Heck yes. Now there are chests buried around here. And the idea is you use the trident key on one of the chests. There are three chests to be had. The only thing is you need a trident key and you also need a armoured... Well, you, you need a pearl from the armoured clan. I'm going to put a beacon there so I know how to get back here. And I'm just going to go and pilfer one of these pearls from one of these clans. So I won't be there a second. Let's go and grab that. Oh, look at that lovely freaking underwater specimen that we just saw there swimming about above the... Okay, well, let's go on over yonder hill. There's some clams over this way, apparently. 
hopefully and then I've got to swim all the way back again hence why I left the beacon there okay so to leave a beacon there all I did was sort of you know, hold down the scan button and press square to place it people if you're wondering how I did that okay right here we go and I'm gonna need my mining beam zap clam thank you clam and I better grab some of this uh, freaking oxygen worm here lovely jobby and now I'm just going to head back. I'm just going to head back to my beacon that I left, which is just over this way. I also locked onto the sealed chest, so I had two markers. So that's another thing you can do. You can just sort of add a waypoint to the actual sealed chest if you don't want to drop a beacon. Beacons can be a little bit annoying to remove, so you have to go into the um, scanner option again. And you see that blue line coming off of the actual beacon? Well, you just have to click on that using square again. So if I do that with the crosshairs, it has to be pretty much exactly on there. Boom, there we go. Gone. Right, terrain manipulation. And let's go dig up this chest. And uh, let's see what we get in here. Now, this part isn't part of doing all the lore or anything. But I just wanted to show you are going to get another treasure from inside of here. And I figured I'm going to dig these up anyway. Because I'm hoping, maybe, just maybe, by sheer freaking random chance, it might give me that other one that's missing. You know, that plant sort of sample, if you like. Because I'm thinking that treasure chest and also this one that I'm getting are all underwater. Those two are underwater. So it kind of makes sense that the other one that's also sitting there might also be underwater. But, you know, it's not a given science. Heck no, it's not. Not by any stretch of the imagination. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to drown in a second. So I'm just going to call in my north in here again and just jump in there and hopefully that's going to give me back my oxygen and, and my hazard protection and I can scan for the next freaking site so there we are let's do that chicka pow scan for submerged ruin it's found another one I just need to check that it's definitely not gone and locked me onto the one that I just left no it hasn't and it's all the way over there people uh, how far over there? It's hard to actually say at the moment. Let's jump out of it and let's see how far away that one is. One hour. Yeah, I'd definitely be taking my um, spaceship for that, but I've got to get back to my spaceship. You know what, people? I'll reconvene when I'm at the next ruin. Hook yours, people. I'm going to have a sip of my tea. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, people. Well, we reconvene and just buy an actual ruin and just get my oxygen back. Having a little sip of me tea, I'm jumping in out, and let's swim on over. Let's get the next snippet of law, shall we, people? Never tried in key. I've already got myself a couple of those pearls. Okay, so here we go. And accept the waves. There we are, people. I surveyed the uncountable millions, but there's nothing. All these other rocks look so drab and dull, so lifeless, so damaged, no matter how deep I go, there's never anything to match it. I see whole world stars reflected in its brilliance. I know there must be more out there. Chicka-boom. I pull back and the roar of the ocean subsides as the light of the ruin fades. The ancient key, yeah, and all that sort of stuff that it said last time. Right, oh, cool. Well, we've got our trident key. Let's go and dig up this chest then, people. Okay, here we go. And terrain manipulation. Chicka-boom, boom, chicka-pow, pow. pow. Swim on down and let's see what we get in this chest. And uh, yeah, so the actual cursed object we should get after doing the old law. I mean, this isn't what I'm here for, these chests, but you know, it's, 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 it is what it is. Right, let's jump inside the Norseman and let's do another scan, people. I will go and find myself the next relic site and I'll be right back with you to read you the law and see if we get our cursed treasure. Heck yes, people. See you in a moment. Okay, chums, well, reconvene back at the old Nautilus and recharging my energies. Big mouthful of the old tea. Let's uh, jump on out and let's go and invest again to this one, people. So over this way first. Lovely. Hello there. Boom. Well, hello there. Cool, let's do this. Except the waves. Here we go. I found it. It took me days, but I found it. The worst day since I left the surface. I missed it so much. Come, the fault was all mine when I found it. It was still as perfect as the day it found it, but my eyes, something is changing. I'm so glad it's back. Leave. Okay, there we go, people. And uh, we're going to get ourselves the perfect key yet again. And we didn't get given anything other than the key, though, this time, people. So still not the cursed object that we was hoping for. But we may as well use this key 
And uh, yeah, why the fudge not, eh, people? You can get an extra treasure. I mean, I can sell all these treasures and make a shed load of units anyway. So the fact that I'm, I'm just getting these underwater treasure chests and are not the sort of floral sort of thing, which I'll show you what I mean. So this one is underwater. This one is underwater. So I'm kind of hoping that this one might be too. But um, yeah, you know, it's a theory. It's a theory. It, it's not a given. I have no idea. Oh, hold on. That says that it just updated one of my treasures. So that one has just been updated to the one I collected. So it's slightly better. Okay, fine. Not that that makes much of a difference to me, but even still, it's a treasure that's been catalogued in this episode, people. Right, well, I've got to get back to my ship and I will reconvene when I get to the next relic site, which I need to scan for. All right, see you in a moment. Well, how do you then? Chums, right, well, I've arrived to Kota at the next submerged relic site. Let's go and hit this one up then. Hello there. Okay, cool. Looks like something out of Terminator 2, doesn't it? It does. Freaking weirdness. Okay, anyway, listen. I pull back and the roar of the ocean subsides as the light of the ruined verge. I find an ancient... It didn't give me any lore this time, people. No lore. So does that mean it's going to give me the cursed object? Trident key. Lovely. Are you going to give me it? Fudging, no, it's not. Arson biscuits. Okay, people, well, we're just going to have to press on and keep doing this until it does give me a cursed object. Yeah, because it looks like the lore is finished, which is a little unusual. Normally, after the lore finishes, you get yourself the offering. Okay, cool. And I'm going to grab myself another treasure. Lovely jubbly. Loads of bullion. Sweet. Okay, well, let's um, bring in the old Nautilus and we're going to have to scan for another one of these sites, people. Okay. How bizarre is that? So just because the law's finished doesn't mean you're going to get your cast treasure. Right, submerged relic detected. Now the thing is, as I, I have done this on this save before, like many a year ago, but for whatever reason the Discoveries catalogue doesn't register that I have. It's like I've got all the treasures sitting on my, all the exotic trophies sitting on my actual freighter, but it didn't register that I had all of these, you know, these um, collected glitches. I've got them all on my freaking freighter. I had to go and collect them all a second time. Freaking weirdness, people. So yeah, I, I'm not too sure whether the catalogue is totally foobard or just parts of it are foobard. Anyway, people, I'm going to head back to my ship. We we'll worry about the foobariness of um, the freaking catalogue. Once we get to the end of doing this, and hopefully you only have one treasure left, if, if this actually works, this one might be bugged out too. We can only but keep testing. Okay, well, we've arrived at Kate and I'm swimming on down to the actual ruin. Here we go then. They all look exactly the freaking same on this planet, don't they? Alright, anyways, let's hit this one up then. Hello there, Terminator 2 guy. Let's see what he says this time. And all I've got is, listen, make an offering, hypnotic eye, this is it. So I've got to get myself a hypnotic eye, people. But I don't have a hypnotic eye. So that's a bit shite. Now, to get a hypnotic eye, I need to find myself like one of those weird underwater creature things. You know, the eyeball monsters, which, yeah, they only frequent near to abandoned buildings. So let's stick that there. Let's call in my Nautilus and let's see if we can get a hypnotic eye. Okay, hopefully there's going to be an abandoned building nearby. Let's have a look, see. All right, so scan, and I want to go for abandoned building pow all right it's, it's detected one but how far away are we talking and i've got to swim all the way back here where the bloody hell is the marker come on it found one but where okay this is a bit weird oh there it is 17 minutes that way okay right all right fine well i've left my beacon here and i've left my nautilus here i'm going to go back up to my ship we're going to go to that abandoned building, and then we're going to come back here with that hypnotic eyeball, people. So, you saw what I did there. I scanned for an abandoned building, and hopefully by that abandoned building, we're going to find one of those hypnotic eyes. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you when we get to the abandoned building. Okay, people, well, I've arrived quite close to this abandoned building. There it is over there. Let's do a run and a jump, and let's see if we can make it all the way there. I don't think I'm going to. But yeah, I need to leave my Nautilus where it is, really, because that gives me a secondary marker, just in case my beacon manages to disappear. So let's swim on over. Now I'm going to be needing my mining beam for this one to give these guys a bit of a tickle. Here we go. Let's uh, swim on down. You have to wait till it opens and starts to look at you, and then zap it. 
Like now. To boom. You've got to be quite quick in swimming down to collect your eyeball, people. So we go, let's grab it. Lovely jubbly. And yeah, there's usually two or three of these little sort of hypnotic eyeballs around here. I might as well get another one and just show you again. Oh, there's one on the roof. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's get him, pal. And let's get that eyeball quickly before it vanishes, before it despawns. There we go. We've got it. Okay, well, let's head on back to the old ship then. And let's head on over to the... Uh, uh, you can see my beacon is still there and my nautilin is still there. Lovely. So we shouldn't have a problem in getting back there, peeps. So yeah, back to my ship and then back over to that site. I'll see you there, people. Okay, well I've arrived nearish to my deployed beacon. There it is there, and you can see my Nautilus there too. I managed to jump as far as I can, fly up into the air as far as I can, and hopefully drop down and plop into the water fairly close by, or relatively anyway. Alright, well let's go on over and let's see if this hypnotic eye is going to satisfy the relic enough to give me what I'm after, which is the cursed object to complete my catalogue as far as I can complete it, people. Okay, golly, oh, swim on down. And when I say my catalogue is complete as complete can be, it's not as complete as complete can be. I'll show you some of the things that are missing still inside of my catalogue, and then I might even try and get those ones done before we finish off this episode, people. So let's swim on down, and let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go and offer it up the hypnotic eyeball, if it still gives that as an option. Hopefully it will, peeps. I don't. There we are. Lovely jubbly. Hello there, you. Yes, lovely you. Okay, right. It's not letting me interact with it. Ah, some biscuits. So I guess I'm going to have to go to another one now, aren't I? Okay, great. So there you go. Word to the wise. Get yourself a hypnotic eye before doing this, people. I completely forgot that that was a need. Okay, right. Here we are. Let's uh, unlock this chest anyway. Might as well get myself another treasure that I can sell for a shed load of freaking units. Okay, cool. Well, there we are. We've got ourselves enough an awesome one. But that one's purple. Nice. And that has added a new record to the old freaking catalogue. Coolio. Right, well, I guess I better scan for another one of these bloody relic sites then. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Okay, well, we found another one. And let's just hope that we get given that second option again at this one. Hopefully it's not going to start all over again. Yeah, it would have been nice if I could still interact with this blinking thing and do the secondary option. You know, like you can with portals, but no, that's not the case. All right, people, I'll see you over at the other relic. All right, take care. Well, Jums, here I am at another ruin site. Let's just hope it gives me that secondary option like it did at the last one, but I didn't have my hypnotic eye. And I did press circle to exit the menu, but, um, you know, whatever. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. See, yes, I can make that offering. There you go, offering hypnotic eye. But yeah, it is advisable to have one already. There we go. New treasure recorded. Terrifying sample. Heck yes. So let's uh, just go check my catalogue. There we go, 34. And we've got it. It's there, people inside of the view of us. A floppy core. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well, you know what? That deserves a little bit of a celebration. Chicka boom, chicka pow. And yeah. It looks like there's only one left to get, and I don't know how to get this one, people. So if you've got any ideas in the viewer verse, please hit me up and let me know. And uh, yeah, so let's go through each of these. Collected glitches, got them all. Planet records, got them all. Fauna records, got them all. Excellent. Sometimes a few disappear, so that's why I hesitated for a second. Flora records, I only need one, and this says greatest radiation resistance. So I think I need to find an extreme gamma radiation planet to get that one nailed. And then I've got one more on here, and it says a longest half-life. Well, I think that might be a play on words for the game Half-Life, which was also to do with mutants and all sorts of other shenanigans. So I think that one might pop also on an extreme gamma radiation weld. But yeah, I need to put that to the test. So you know what? I'm going to go to a gamma weld. Now you can see here this is an extreme fungal weld because this system, I think, has got quite a few extreme planets in. So maybe, if I'm lucky, one of the planets inside of this system might be extreme gamma. Let's have a look. Indium, indium. Okay, maybe not then. Oh yes, there is. The ringed planet in this system, and it has got indium on it, but not activated. So it might not be that powerful. But I'm going to go there anyway, and I'll see if I can get those unlocked. Basically, what I'm going to do is go to that planet, and I'm going to scan every rock and every plant that I can find, and I reconvene with you, and we'll see if it's managed to pop anything. 
Well, hello there, chum. So I'm on the floor of records, and yes, that one I have managed to unlock. And then in mineral records, again, yes, I've managed to find a rock that does exactly that. So my theory of a gamma radiation planet was correct. I also got that one here too, strongest magnetic field peeps. So there we go. I've now done everything inside of the catalog. So all of those are found. All of those are found. All of the my fauna are found. Planet records, all are found. Collected git glitches, all are found. Treasures, just one is missing, people. And then when you look at the outside here, it says there's 34 of 78 records. Well, there's only 60 something when you count them all. So I don't know why it's saying 78. And I don't know why it says I've only found 34 when I've found pretty much all of them bar one. Technically, that should read 77, shouldn't it, really? So, yeah, the Wonders catalogue at the moment, people, is pretty darn freaking foobard. So there we go. Now we know how foobard it is. Hopefully, Hello Games can get on to fixing this thing. Because, yes, it's, it's pretty broken, pretty broken broken people inside the view of us. Anyway, I'm going to jump in my ship and out of my ship because I've registered quite a lot of catalogue finds. And you know what? I think this deserves a little mini celebration for me. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get when it comes to the Wonders catalogue right now, people. So here we go. Well done me! Heck yes. And thank you very much for watching this little mini playlist on how to get your Wonders catalogue done and dusted. But as you can see, people, if you are a completionist like me, it, it's not complete by any stretch of the imagination, and I think that's down to either bugs or features. Who knows, people inside the view of us? But hopefully it gets sorted. Anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Oh, by the way, <laughs> finished my tea a long time ago. <laughs> I need to go make a fresh brew. Bye-bye.